It's testament to Rockstar's prowess as immersive environmental designers, story, and mission writers that Red Dead Redemption 2 is a smorgasbord of secrets and hidden cutscenes, adding untold intrigue to an already captivating vision of the American frontier. Here are 15 of the best. UFO Sightings What would a Rockstar game be without a glimpse of the extraterrestrial? Red Dead Redemption 2 is no stranger to close encounters, with two chances to spot flying saucers over the old frontier. First, head to Henny's Berthel to the northwest of the Heartland Overflow and enter the creepy abandoned house. Inside are skeletons of long-dead cultists who believed mass suicide was their ticket to leave this Earth via an alien spaceship. Read the sermon's note on the desk, leave, and return at 2 a.m. for a sight of sickly glowing green UFO. The other flying saucer is viewable from the summit of Mount Shan, again at around 2 a.m. Frozen Woolly Mammoth Venture off the beaten path in Grizzlies West to the northwest of Amberino and Arthur will stumble across the frozen remains of a gargantuan woolly mammoth. Its inclusion is a neat secret rather than offering a collectible or backstory. If you want to see the frozen tusks for yourself, head to the intersection of two rivers between Spider Gorge and Dead Boot Creek. Magical Cauldron There's a mysterious site nestled within the dense forests of New Alberino. It's worth the trek out there for the collectible potions, hair tonic, and lootable chests alone, but at the site's center is a strange bubbling cauldron. Take a sip of the scorching brew and Arthur will pass out, waking up a few yards away. There's a greater mystery afoot at this here cauldron. The raven-type bird keeps a watchful eye, presumably for the old hag lady living up on the outer fringes of Grizzly's West. Agnes Dowd Ghost Encounter the swamplands of the bayou are some of the spookiest locations in the whole of Red Dead Redemption 2. One particular spirit is sure to get the shackles up, and that's the ghostly apparition of Agnes Dowd. A jaded young woman who went on a killing spree before taking her own life in vengeance for the loss of her husband. Sneak through Blue Water Marsh around 2am, if you're brave enough. Talk to Bigfoot Mount Chiliad's long-rumored Bigfoot finally makes an appearance. Or maybe it's an altogether different Sasquatch which Arthur encounters? The Bigfoot encounter is one of the more laborious easter eggs in which to unlock, requiring 30 different animals in his compendium before riding to the lake at Calumet Ravine. Next, startle a distinctive flock of birds who will lead Arthur to the purported Sasquatch's lair, a cave blocked by humongous boulder. Apparently, whatever beast lives inside locked themselves away for a life of solitude. Revisit the site for a more thoughtful conversation. I'd like to be anonymous. I like to blend in. That's a job. I'm well known for my humor, you see. Anyway, be well. Fine Dragic's Robot In the park towards the southwest of Saint Denis waits a bizarre stranger. Inventor Marco Dragic tasks Arthur with aiding his demonstration of a remote control submarine to investors before conducting electricity experiments at his lab in Doverhill. Complete these two side missions and upon Arthur's third encounter back at the lab, Dragic will have died and the subject of his robot creation and the subject of the electricity experiments will have absconded. Arthur can track this sad robot down to a mountain peak near Coulter. Alchemist's Exploding House The Alchemist's House is an event encounterable in Red Dead Redemption 2's epilogue, so if you hung up your cowboy boots after completing the main story, you might have missed this one. The house itself is located northeast of Tumbleweed, and if you've ventured out this far, it'll be unmissable. The picturesque house sits alone between two canyon walls, but promptly explodes as John gets closer. There are enough visual clues in the cabin's charred remains that this site was an illicit distillery, with a couple of useful collectible discoverable for those who investigate the fire a little closely. Vetter's Echo Another encounter those sneaky devs at Rockstar have snuck in that takes influence from a purported true event. In the north of West Elizabeth's Big Valley, but south of Little Creek River lies an abandoned cabin with a dangerous surprise lurking inside. See, Vetter is a real-life frontiersman who, allegedly, was attacked and killed by a bear in the 1800s. For the Echo, well, you'll have to open the door to the cabin to find out. Catching the Kid in St. Denis during the Joys of Civilization mission, on the streets of St. Denis, Arthur's satchel will be pinched by an obnoxious little brat, forcing Arthur into pursuit. The game's mission plays out as a chase sequence with Arthur eventually being ambushed. However, 
Grabbing the kid before the ambush sequence unlocks a neat hidden cutscene. Also, there's a couple of established ways to catch him before the chase is out too. Shoot the trolley, for one, or take an alternative route when he's heading up onto the roof. Just take a left and wait on the street to ambush him. I'm a good boy, I wash. Give me my things. Here. Bronte? At home. Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. Sadie saves Eagle Flies. During the My Last Boy mission, there will be a moment when Eagle Flies will be grappled from behind by two burly men. With flames dancing either side, the game intends for you to swiftly dispatch of the man on top Eagle Flies, gun drawn in imminent execution. Should Arthur fail to do this, then Sadie will headshot him for you. This is a cool detail because for those unaware, Sadie's surname, Adler, is German for Eagle. In saving his life, she grants Eagle Flies the chance to fly one final time. Magicians for Sports Hidden Cutscene On the trail of Trelawney during the Magicians for Sport mission, Arthur and Charles will locate a bounty hunter camp with two unsuspecting goons ready to be roughed up for info. Rockstar's intention is for Arthur and Charles to establish first these two men know the whereabouts of Trelawney owing to them possessing Trelawney's cane. A bout ensues. However, shoot one of the guys down before approaching the game to unlock a humorous cutscene whereby Arthur, zero tolerance given, shoots the ground, causing the surviving hunter to dance before giving up information. Sell Penelope's Gift During the course of True Love Mission, Bo bequeaths Arthur with a letter and a gift, his bracelet, for his sweetheart Penelope. However, passing the gift on is purely optional. Should Arthur sell the gift to a fence before approaching Penelope, She'll seem somewhat bemused at the missing item as Bo usually sends a little something. Arthur will lose honor, but maybe it's worth it, for Penelope hands me precious heirloom later in the game, restoring what honor was lost. Busting Micah out of jail The typical way to break the sadistic Micah out of the strawberry jail is to attach a winch to the prison window bars and yank them clean off, leaving a gaping hole for Micah to scuttle out from. Rockstar, in their admirable quest to provide player freedom, offer more than one way to break Micah free, and no, it isn't by placing dynamite by the jailhouse walls. There is in fact a third way, no less sneaky but certainly dastardly. Simply march Arthur through the jailhouse's front door and shoot down the three lawmen. The key to the cell can then be used to trigger an alternative cutscene, although no matter how it turns out, the nasty piece of work of Micah must survive to progress the story. Thank you, friend. Now give me a gun. Hey, you. Bye now! <laughs> Why the hell you do that? I'll tell you later. Come on! Not killing Micah in American Venom. There's only one outcome for Micah Bell during Red Dead Redemption 2's final mission and epilogue American Venom. During the epic Mexican standoff, Marston, Dutch, and Bell point revolvers at each other. With Micah Bell's demise, the game's intended ending. Load an invincibility mod though, and John Marston can stand as idle observer as Micah kills Dutch, executes Sadie, and stumbles into the cabin. The events of Red Dead Redemption can't play out if Dutch is killed. So, the game softlocks with Marston comically frozen in shooting position like a wax statue. Going to jail with Lenny Chapter 2's A Quiet Time mission is one of the funniest missions in all of Red Dead Redemption 2. On account of being close to lynching at Micah's arrest in Strawberry, Dutch tasks Arthur with breaking Micah out of jail. But not before taking Lenny for a night out on the streets to blow off some steam. Arthur and Lenny's night unravels into chaos, with dancing, brawls culminating in Arthur almost drowning a fellow Joker before Loamon arrive. Lenny will always be arrested, but should Arthur not escape either, then the pair awaken in a jail cell with Lenny forced to cough up $10 each for them to get out again. Did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, hit that bell, subscribe, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.